Recently I've been thinking, why is everybody around me so productive? Why do they grind and hustle for like 40 hours a day and I am always in need of some day off? Am I lazy? Am I procrastinator? The answer is, I am simply sustainable. Of course, different people have different capacities, but for most of us, working too much leads to the burnout. That's why it is crucial to listen to your body, to your mind, and once in a while hit the reset button. Well, today is the mental health vlog. I truly needed it because um, as a content creator, well, I don't want to complain. Of course, I'm very privileged to create content full time for this period of my life. But as a content creator, I think about so many things throughout the day and just throughout my work. I feel like uh, if, if I finish work at seven or let's say at six, I, I still cannot stop working. I think about what other ideas I create, what like engagement uh, rate should I consider, like how did my last video and my previous video, this all is always in my head and I definitely need some things to apply, to get rid of those thoughts, at least for a moment, to relax, to reduce stress and all this stuff. This is why I'm now so interested in just mental health in general. And my mental health vlog is about just doing anything but work. <laughs> I will not create any content today except for this video. Can you see, I cannot even make a mental health day. I've got to film it. I mean, it's not that I've got to, I want to, <laughs> but still, and my cough is ready. <laughs> This chair is my home at this point. I want to try to self-reflect on my past year and think what did what I did well, what I did not do well, and I created the PDF that I already shared with you. What I want to do is to fill it and to think about my year, to think what I want to do the next year, because it's December the 31st, if you're interested. Then I definitely want to listen to music and what are my plans. Music is something that I neglect all the time, because we don't really think about it as a form of self-care and somehow like mental health maintenance, but your brain does not really work much if uh, it listens to music, so you have a chance to rest a little bit and your brain finally has a chance to rest. But also I want to listen to music and calmly and so mindfully savor the moment of watering my plants. Maybe I will also wipe surfaces, I don't know. Uh, and as it's December the 31st in Ukraine, we celebrate it a lot more than Christmas even. And like it's, it's a big deal here, the New Year's Eve. So we prepare food and we are gonna dress up a little bit and I'm gonna take a shower finally. <laughs> Just kidding, I take shower regularly, if you don't believe it, I understand it. But, um... But, um, um, first I needed to cry a little, and I don't really think it's bad, I think it's good that I am able to express emotions, because realizing what you feel is the first step to knowing what to do with this feeling. That moment I simply got sad. Sad because although I wanted to devote that day to uh, self-care, I realized that I had to film this whole day and it would be hypocritical of me telling you that here I am caring for myself, although filming this all would ruin all my intention to rest this day. And even my husband said, do you really want to work on December the 31st because it's a national holiday and almost all the country spends time with the family and I don't? No mental health vlog today. 
Okay, today is a much better day for filming because it's still kind of day off wipe because this whole like 31st, 1st and the 2nd, these all are very festive days, people are resting, a lot of people don't work this day, so I decided why not film today and just show you how uh, my day goes. Um, in a day off, like almost day off. I will do some work today, but not much. And I will start with yoga. No, I will start with just showing you what I got myself for New Year's Eve, for the new year. We've got the tradition here to give presents to each other. So my presents for myself was this suit. Not suit, what's, what's the called? Um, the, the costume, costume? What do you call that? <laughs> Whatever. I don't know if you see that, let me show you. Like this leggings that I got myself and this top are very beautiful. I really like combinations like that with the same matching color. It is just gorgeous. I think I will love doing yoga in that and I've been thinking about it for a while. Unfortunately, you cannot find these in thrift stores. People don't sell usually such good things or just matching things. So I bought it newly, but I do not regret that because I'm planning to use it for a while and it's very difficult to find good leggings in the thrift store, although you can find them and a lot cheaper, but they are not made by a sports company so that they are comfortable to wear and to do sports with. They always, you know, fell off. And I wanted something really good quality to wear for a long period of time. And it was only possible if I buy this new end. How do you like it? Tell me. Although yoga is quite far from sports, I realized that if I didn't do this with my sedentary lifestyle, I would probably be a lot weaker right now. And honestly, when my peers say that they have backaches, I always think, how come you're so young? And then I realized that I've got to thank my yoga for not having back pain in my life. My next remedy from everyday stress is meditation. This time I'm doing the breathing meditation it is very simple, it's just an intention to concentrate on inhalation and exhalation. Feel the coolness of the air coming in and the warmth of the air coming out of my nostrils. Honestly, my first year of meditations, I just couldn't do it. Seriously, breathing seemed to be the most boring thing to concentrate on. I just got back to my thoughts and couldn't help it. But I didn't give up, I tried and tried to focus on air flowing in my body. And now I can do that for 10 times longer than when I only started. I feel so at peace right now. Yeah, and I just want to use this peaceful state to journal and to like go deeper within me and my personality and find out what I want for the next year. Because I didn't feel, honestly, I didn't feel that uh, PDF of the annual review on the 31st as I planned to do because I don't like using digital thing for journaling. Honestly, I realized that I would enjoy this process a lot more if I just take a piece of paper or maybe my notebook and fill it. Right, I actually finished a few pages of my journaling and analyzing the last year, planning for the next year, and I still have several topics to cover, which is rest, hobbies, spirituality, and that's it. I already discussed with my inner self uh, all the rest. For more mindfulness and minimalism tips, please subscribe to my newsletter. It's completely free, but it's very inspiring. Uh, also go to check my Instagram page. I share a lot of my everyday life there. Watch my last video, please, if you're interested. And I think I'm gonna finish it here. Have the most wonderful day. Goodbye.